Welcome back to The Basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. I am playing in a seed here. I've started a new world. This is a seed, actually, that I am a little bit familiar with, because Ted and I uh, started a split-screen world, a split-screen series in this world, and uh, I really liked uh, some features that we found. So I am going to um, take a run at this and build the house that I want to build. I have an idea for a house that is aesthetically pleasing and not too difficult to build, except I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the roof yet. In the past, I have built a glass roof, uh, just a glass ceiling flat on top of a house, and I've actually found that that's not the worst thing in the world. So, uh, of course, the first thing we're going to do is punch some trees, and we got to make all the wood and one of these and a bunch of these, and then make sure that we get stone going right away. And coal, of course, because coal is important for cooking food and for staying alive uh, with light via torches. So we'll get a stone pickaxe going here, and then uh, I'll set to work getting the rest of my stone tools set up. Let's see, two for a sword, one for a shovel, one, two, three more for an axe, one, two, and another three for an extra pickaxe, two for a hoe, and then eight for a furnace. Six, seven, eight done. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to try to commentate a lot so I don't have to uh, cut much out, or if I'm going to stop doing commentary and end up cutting a bunch out. I don't know, we'll see. Let's get uh, situated here. We want this here, and this here, and this way over here, and we're going to want, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, so crafting table can go there, uh, yeah, and when we get some food, it will go there. Okay, so let's make a sword and a shovel and an axe and a hoe, and then our extra pickaxe can go right there. We still have seven sticks and 11 planks, and the extra planks um, can actually end up being, uh, what can they be? I know the answer to this question. They can be, oh, uh, three of them could be a bed. And then I'll have an even number again. You end up with an odd number sometimes uh, of sticks because of swords. Swords only take one stick. Everything else takes two. And you can end up with an odd number of uh, planks sometimes because of... Um, I'm not sure why. How many sticks you end up making? I don't know. But we're going to have some torches here very soon, and I'm quite excited about that. In fact, let's make sure we have enough of this. One, two, three. And uh, we do want, actually, a leftover coal up here, so all the future coal that we collect knows where to go. And torches will go here and here as usual, and we need food here. And then we'll be all set. Um, yeah, speaking of food, I see some food, I see some food in my future. I also saw a wolf shaking water off of its coat. Hi, cow. I'm sorry, cow. You're mine. Did you give me any leather? No. And only one beef, but I will eat and enjoy. Okay, we don't want to mess with those guys yet. There's, so there's a snowy mountain that I think is a new biome in 11740 experimental stuff. And I just want to play around with building within sight of it. I'll probably crank the render distance up to maximum too if it's not already there. I knew there was some more coal around here. We just got about two hours or so into the split screen world in our one recording session in the seed so far, uh, Ted and I do in our split screen, and I think um, because it's a bit temperamental with the split screen, I don't know if we're done or not, but we might be. Uh, we'll see. Spoiler. Um, but that could be the case. But it's kind of a shame because I like the seed, and I want to uh, take advantage of some of the new terrain and the new biomes. So, um, I'll probably cut down a few trees and uh, get to the area where we're going and uh, 
then meet you guys there. You can see it in the chords, uh, coordinates up in the left, upper left hand corner of the screen. But right now it's just going to be boring resource gathering, food gathering. You know, uh, we need meat, we need wood, we need coal and a little bit of stone. And we definitely need wool for beds. Uh, so I'll meet you guys in a little bit and catch up with what I've been doing uh, when I do. So see ya very soon. Haha, -ha. okay, here's our third white sheep. Which means we now have enough wool to make a bed for tonight. Which uh, brings me a great deal of comfort since I am brand new in this world. The sun is setting uh, over there. And um, we're gonna need... We're gonna need to sleep the night away. We don't have any armor. Sleep is the way to go. We're also gonna gather for sugarcane of the world as well because uh, if this ends up lasting a while, we'll want paper for enchanting and all of that. Okay, let's make sure that we have our bed ready to go. And, uh, like this, and also a furnace. Do I want to make a campfire for cooking meat? Probably, but I'm doing okay on coal right now. So maybe we'll just do it like that. You can only sleep at night, that's true enough. Um, I'm gonna sleep the night away and cook some meat at the same time. And then I've got to remember where uh, where the snowy mountains were that we found earlier. Come on, you son. There we go. All right, sleeping the night away. <sighs> Good morning, world. Um, while this cooks, there's no bad guys nearby, are there? While this cooks, I am going to uh, figure out where the seed, or where the uh, coordinates that I want are. So I'll meet you guys back here in just a second. Alrighty, I figured it out. We're going to negative, or 100, positive 100, negative 580. Uh, so we've got, we're in a good spot Z-wise right now. But we got about 300 blocks to go this way. So um, I'll make the I'll make the track, and if anything interesting happens, I'll uh, cut in and show you guys. Otherwise, we'll be right over there. All right, so you can see what I mean about the new uh, biomes. These are some really cool icy, snowy mountains. And uh, what we found out when I was playing this with Ted is that you can actually sink into the snow and uh, start taking damage. And I don't know if you're drowning, like when you're under gravel? What is that noise? Anyway, you can sink into the snow and you take damage from being cold. And I don't know if you also suffocate or not, but we want to be very careful of that. And which is why we're kind of going around the snow. It's pretty to build in sight of the snow, but it is treacherous. Oh, bunnies! Uh, to be too close. Do we have dirt in our inventory yet? Wow, we don't. That's okay, we'll have plenty when we start terraforming. I'm very grateful for the uh, meat that was sacrificed earlier uh, in this episode and uh, the furnace that we built because it's going to allow me to fuel up here, which is exactly what I'm going to do. There, fit as a fiddle, nice and full. Isn't that great? That's great. All right, let's remember, we're actually going, we're going in, uh, behind me there's some spruce we're going to want to cut down, but we're going this way. So let's set up first and then we'll come back for a spruce. I don't want to cut down any of the spruce that's on like the snowy part of the mountain. Uh, but we can come back over here for some spruce later. So that'll be handy. In fact, maybe we should cut that down now. Ooh, I was coming over to cut down some of the spruce and I found a ruined portal. Let's go ahead and uh, plunder this, although we can't actually get the gold blocks if we don't have an iron pick. Um, sharpness 3, sure. That could save our life. Obsidian, fine. Flint, nuggets. Can I actually... Oh, let's see, I want to take this. But I'm wondering if it's not a good idea. I don't have any water for that gold block. 
but I might be able to grab it anyway. I'm wondering if it's a good idea to make an iron pick real quick. I am very full. Okay, iron ingots. Oh, we're not going to have enough. Okay, that's fine. We'll have to come back here at some point for that gold if we really want it. But for now, what we want is uh, spruce and spruce saplings. So I will set to work on that. And uh, we'll see how long the stone axe lasts. Wowza, guys. I'm up here at the top of this uh, spruce. There's our ruined portal. There's our snowy mountains. There's the sunset. Here's all this big spruce. This is a pretty world. I like this world. Uh, I'm going to sleep on top of this spruce tree tonight, and uh, we'll gather up the rest of this wood. Can I not place you there? Uh-oh. Ah, <sighs> refreshing. All right, I am very quickly running out of inventory space, but hopefully we'll have room for all this stuff. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think my axe is gonna last either. So this will be the only tree we cut down. Oh, I do need some more saplings first though, don't I? All right, we're up to four saplings. I think that's gonna be good enough. Let's uh, take out the rest of this wood and uh, we can proceed to the area that I have picked out for us. Ooh, look at how nice that looks. Yeah, there's a mountain. We're going to build in the shadow of this mountain, and it is going to be glorious. Look at that thing. Ooh, it's so tasty. I should probably grab that coal. Or maybe we can just remember and come back. Maybe we should grab it right now. There's, I see some surface lava over here. That's good. All right, we got some snowy spruce over there. We got some big snowy peaks over here. That thing's ugly. We'll have to get rid of that. And in our split screen world, I think we built our farm down here and our house up here. So this will be the beginning operations base. I do see some iron there. We got to take this out because it's ugly. And uh, we'll use this dirt to sort of flatten this area. But this is it. This is home. With that cave and those trees and that ice and that view, that valley. We'll get rid of that, like I said. And uh, I don't know how I feel about that. This is a great spot to build here. Yep, I think we're going to like it. Okay, um, hmm. I think the first thing we have to set down is our chest. And we'll have to pick out a spot. These bees aren't going to get mad at me, are they? Um, hmm. I just don't know what the final height of this is going to be. Probably this and not this. So let's set this uh, over here. And we'll set some stuff down just so we're not so cluttered. And then we can get to work. Where's a good spot to grow this first? Okay, now I need to make campfires to put underneath these, I think. I think that would be smart. But where are we going to grow our spruce? We want it this height, right? Are we going to dig all this out? I don't know. I just don't know. I'm feeling this a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, it's not much so far. We've got a planted tree, giant spruce right there, and we've got a chest uh, there. And we got some stuff to dig, but first I got to eat. And uh, I'll start terraforming and uh, check in with you guys momentarily. Ooh, there's coal hidden in this little dirt hill. How nice. I just thought I was uh, getting rid of some ugly dirt, but I'm actually gathering resources at the same time. All right, I've been leveling things out here just a little bit, and I want to try putting a campfire underneath these bees and seeing if that helps, but first we got to sleep. It's too dangerous to not sleep. Ooh, I like that view with the coal there. Um, you can see things have changed just a little bit. I added that and that next to the chest, and uh, some mountain goats have spawned. Okay, let's see if I can destroy this without them getting too mad. Nope. They mad. How do I get rid of a beehive without a... 
creating that particular issue. I do not know. But I do know that without Silk Touch, I'm not getting my uh, not getting my stuff back. Hmm. Okay. Somebody teach me how to do that. Now I've got charcoal in addition to regular coal. I'm gonna have to get that fixed. But at least this is gone, and we can level this out now. Uh, so I'm gonna get back to leveling things out, and I'm gonna have to build a new axe. Uh, craft a new axe. And I wonder if the time has actually come to grab this iron here. Do we want an iron axe? We might for like this stuff, because we're going to be building a lot right away. Are we sinking in the snow? We're not. Thank goodness. So we'll grab our first iron. I know I have one piece of iron from earlier, but we'll uh, make our first iron thing, which will be an iron axe. Uh, so we can keep making progress. I'm going to flatten this out, but you know, something else I got to do too is make a, uh, oh, what's down here? Oh my. I got to make a, um, a farm. Uh, so I can start growing some wheat and stuff. I just don't know where it's going to go. Do I have any seeds yet? I don't think I do. There's one. Be enough to get us started. What's that, honey? How do I get honey? Do I use shears? I don't even know. Uh, and we're going to need water, which means we're going to need a bucket, which means we've got a lot to do. Ugh. All right, give me some time. I'll make some progress. <sighs> oh, that got real cold there. Oh, yes. I'm stuck in the cold right now. There we go. See, that can happen. Yeah, goat, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to save me? Listen, goat, I'm fine. It begs the question, can you set dirt on top of sinky snow and no longer sink? Maybe. Also, do goats sound a little like witches? That me sound a little like... <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm just going crazy. Excuse me? What was that for? Are you just playing? I didn't do anything to you. It's always easy to underestimate the amount of snow, the amount of snow, the amount of dirt it takes to fill in just one layer. Uh, but this is coming along. I am going to take uh, a little more. I think I'll leave this stone. But I'll take out the dirt on this level and try and shape it in with this little hill here. Leave this here naturally on its own. But I do think the time has come to get rid of this ugly little eyesore. Starting to get dark again. Time for another sleep. We'll check on our progress in the morning. Those noises are freaky. I always worry it's a spider. Okay, um, so we got rid of this pile here. Left just the stone. Tried to make that natural-ish. I think getting rid of that one makes some sense, and probably this one or two as well. Um, and we also got rid of this ugly thing that was over here. <clears throat> so, uh, the time has come to fill in uh, some more space. But first, breakfast. All right, let's get this done. All right, now, the question is, do we want the house, I think we want it here, or at least we want the fields here, like the cow fields and stuff, somewhere where it's flat. What do we want directly behind it and next to it? This is a cool view. Maybe we want it. I don't know, we want the whole setup around here. That feels like a mine, doesn't it? Like you could send a mining operation down there. Hmm. That goat is on top of that tree. See him? Oh, well, I'll get that figured out, and uh, we'll lay out the basic floor plan uh, once I'm ready. I got a little bit, of, little bit of math to do, a little bit of calculation and figuring, so just a moment. 
good next step actually is to chop down uh, this tree since our tree farm's not going to be here. I just wanted to have another one <coughs> uh, so that we wouldn't run out of wood early on. Okay, got that tree all chopped down. <sighs> Do we need more dirt here? Do we want it level with this? How much dirt do I even have? Uh, st not even a stack? What's in here? Oh, we've got some cobblestone. A stack of dirt plus two. That is pretty meager. Um, let's put the charcoal in the furnace. And then we can make sure we have food for the future. We have over a stack of poppies. That's really funny. Um, we'll put in the pork chops next, I guess. We'll leave the chicken alone. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose the floor will be at this level. So we don't actually have to fill this in to make it the same height as this. So that is a good thing to remember. All right, let's uh, let's try and center this roughly between the snow. What have we got here? Here we've got uh, we're at negative five seventy eight, and over here we're at negative five forty eight would be thirty one. So forty four is thirty five. So about sixteen in from here, which would be 60. Is this where the doorway is gonna go? Does that feel centered between that and that? It might. What happens if I chop down a tree with a bee? Hi, B. All right, so what I'm thinking here is a 16 by 9 rectangle to start with. Well, that will eventually be just the entryway, but we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, sometimes I get a draw when I'm counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9! And sometimes I turn a little German. But to be fair, I do have a fair amount of German in me. I said fair twice in that sentence. And the same spelling, too. If we were talking about uh, a taxi charging a fair fare, that would be something else. Okay, so let's make sure then that we have these counts right by going 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here and here. Should feel like the halfway point. And it does, right? Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That will do. Uh, the doors will go here. Uh, so we don't even have enough cobblestone to make the floor. But you know what? It's all going to get torn up and replaced by something else eventually anyway. <sighs> All right, so what we know for sure is that there's gonna be uh, spruce walls, and we also, we're gonna want dark oak um, pillars, but we don't have any dark oak yet. Can I destroy this at night? Without any bees getting mad. Can I just destroy it right now? And take care of the bees with some sharpness three. Ouch. Sorry, bees. I just don't know how to handle you guys yet. Okay, so there's gonna be windows here. I don't actually want these. Uh, one, two, three wide. I believe. Let's see. There'll be a pillar here, and then one, and then one, two, three, and then one, and then a pillar. So did I not do this? Did 
the right amount. I gotta look at my math. I need a picture. Uh, let's grab some more saplings. Oh, you're a cute little bunny. Uh, let me uh, let me do a little math and a little planning, and uh, I'll get back with you. We'll make some more progress on this place. Okay, yeah, no, this is right. Um, there's going to be a, a pillar here and a pillar here, and there's just one and then two and then one because this is oddly numbered. So let's make sure we get this right here. And uh, I believe that it will be at least this tall, but we may go one taller. Uh, we will see. Um, and I'm not sure about the sides, actually. I do like the idea of going one taller. Yeah. Like that. Uh, can I make this jump? No problem. Okay, so that will be one, two, and then three. And on top of here is where we're going to go. There, just like that. Um... Might as well build a stairway up here. Okay, so that's roughly what it's going to look like, despite the fact that this will be merely the entryway. Oh my gosh, am I out of wood yet already? I mean, I know I have more, but it's amazing how fast it goes. I didn't think I would run out of what I was currently holding just by doing what I'm doing here. Okay, now do we want to think about what the floor is going to be, or do we just want to use cobblestone for now? I suppose that would be fine. We're going to need iron at some point, and I'm not sure we're ready to move in. Let's see what we've got here. Let's see, where is the dark oak? I know that Ted found some dark oak, but we do want... Let's see, one, two, three. And so the way this works is we're actually going to stick pillars here and here and uh, that will be that will give it the look that I'm going for so here and here and here now how dumb does that look that does not look dumb that's good it's good that it does not look dumb okay um do, 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 like so. All right, so door will be there. That'll look good, and we need a little bit, of course, in here as well. And then that sort of gives you an idea for the feel of it. Okay, this is coming along nicely. I'm pretty happy with it. I need to eat, and I need to cook. And I need more coal, which I have plenty of. I'm tempted to leave all this here. It looks really cool. And just make a mine. Where's the tree farm going to be? Where's the where's the garden going to be? The house is going to go this way. And it's actually going to be wider than this. Um, so I'm not sure where the fields and stuff are going to go. But I am sure that I'm going to go to sleep. Let's do that. All right, seven cooked mutton out, five raw pork chop in, that charcoal. Um, so we're good on food again. Do we go looking for 
dark oak, or do we go mining for resources? That is a good question. I'm tired of stone tools. Finding some iron would not be a bad thing. And we could even do some exploring this way, although the snow makes me nervous. And the shovel's getting low. And this isn't actually a cave, is it? So we could actually build a path through here and have a, a tree farm on the other side of that. That might not be a bad location for that. But then the question is, where do we do our mining? Well, I suppose we just go down. Which means I'm going to have to look at my floor plans. But I need more cobblestone first. Ooh, there's just so many things to do. Uh, hmm. Do we have enough wood on us to be self-sufficient? No, we don't. Okay, so we'll bring some wood with us for the sake of um, survival. We don't need these. And uh, we need water. We need shears. We need a bucket. We need, we need a cow pen. We need iron. Iron is what we need. Um, we do have five iron. What do we do with five iron? We could make a pickaxe. We could make a bucket. We probably want a bucket. Then we could get some water. Uh, let's do a little... Am I sinking here? I'm sinking here. You see how that works? You sink until you hit something solid. Then you need to get your own way out. Yeah, that's dangerous. I was thinking about that way, but now I'm scared. Let's get this iron out of here and see if we can find some, well, let's just carry it with us. Maybe we'll decide what best that would be. Goals, man, goals. I don't want to dig. Hmm. You know, we could dig down like here. Because we know that this will go away eventually. You just need to be careful not to uh, do ourselves in here. Man, I am way up at Y equals a lot. This is an excursion for iron and coal, so we'll see what we can find here. I'm going to dig down, oh, I don't know, a ways, and then uh, we'll start looking for iron. If, however, I find coal along the way, I am definitely going to help myself. Hmm, we seem to have found some water. And some skeletons. One's got an enchanted bow. There's also some coal down there. Hmm. Can they shoot us underwater? I 
Ah, this is that big pit we found with the water at the bottom. Nice little adventure spot here. And pretty inconsequential. So that's a good thing. Uh, we'll gather up this coal and then uh, we'll keep digging down. Well, all right, we've busted into another opening here. I'm not sure how dangerous this is going to be. But this may be a quicker way down in other ways. I do see a wandering trader down here. And a stalagmite. And some copper. I don't know if I see anything of value, though. I kind of feel like I don't. So we will continue on our merry way originally, other than the coal. We should grab the coal. Oh, ho, 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 ho. found some lava. Found a good fair bit of it, in fact. Uh, let's see. We're coming down this way, though, so what we need to do is this. Ooh, that was not enough. We're gonna have to be careful here. Alright, we're down here at y equals 32, and I think it's probably a good time to uh, set up a little miniature base of sorts. And we're gonna see if we can't use this area to find some... Uh, find some resources. I think I hear zombies somewhere, too. I wouldn't mind busting into a cave at this depth. That could be okay. We're going to pillar up here. So we could dig in any of these directions. And then... Uh, This would be a good spot to set up this kind of stuff. Um, we need a chest. Hmm, power too. Not bad. Alrighty. Let's see what we can find. Okay, here's the first copper of the world. Kind of unintentionally, I just happened to be digging a branch in this direction and ran into it. Um, didn't take too long. Haven't seen any iron yet, though. And the zombie sounds have faded, so I'm thinking this is not the direction to find the cave in. But we'll, uh, we'll dig a few more blocks and see if we don't stumble across any iron or anything else interesting. Would you look at that? There's some iron right there. Uh, let me just quick set up one torch here, and we will go back. And um, we got to make ourselves another shovel anyway. But we can drop this iron off when we do. And maybe it will be time to make some armor, or maybe an iron pickaxe. I don't know. Ah, there's more good. I'm glad it's not just two. And I'm glad it's not just four. Let's see how much we got here. Five, six, six. Ooh, I hear zombies again. So maybe there is something down there. Just not the same zombie we heard back at the, uh, back here. And look, there's some coal I passed up as well. That's exciting stuff. Okay, um, hmm. Is it raining all the way down here? It is. Uh, let's make a furnace. And we'll stick that uh, here. I 
And we'll make those six, and along with these five. Hmm. Maybe a pickaxe, I'm not sure. Let's dig to x equals zero, just for fun. And uh, well, then we'll turn around if we don't break into a cave. Yeah, I'm thinking the right thing to do with this iron is to make um, pants and boots. Because we do not want to die. And only when we get more iron can we justify giving ourselves better tools and weapons. But not until we have armor. I'm feeling safer already. All I need is a helmet. Uh oh. We got something here, and I'll bet you there's a zombie nearby. I see a creeper. You guys see the creeper? I see some more mobs too, skeletons and uh, spiders up there, which you guys probably can't see. Here comes this guy. Give me your helmet, dude. Fooey. Ooh, and a slime. Becoming quite the adventure. Yeah, that creeper wants me big time. I can tell. Whew. That was close. All right, let's spread some more light around here. I think an armor was very much the smart decision at this point. Let's get out the other sword as well. So when this one breaks, maybe he'll give me some enchanted armor. The slime is actually doing a great job of blocking these other mobs. So they start fighting each other. I would not mind an enchanted helmet at this point. These little guys can't hurt you, and they're awful cute. Hello. This medium guy can hurt me, though. There we go. Now we're safe. Oh, he's got an enchanted bow. Let's see if we can lure him over here. Come on, you. we get the bow? We did not. Boy, multiple more creepers. Oh, he didn't even blow up. I thought he would. Uh... <laughs> it's getting a little hectic around here. He dead. Is this torch still here? I want this torch here. The mobs are not afraid to spawn in the dark here. That is for sure. Okay, this is a lot to deal with. Ouch. Okay. 
got on the wrong side of that one. Okay. Oh dear. Can we secure this area? I doubt it. We're running very low on torches as well. Yeah, go ahead and blow up. Oh, that's a baby zombie. Oh no! Oh gosh! Things fell apart in a hurry there. I think the baby zombie died though, which is good news. We need way more torches. One twenty-four. Okay, let's spread some light around. Ouch. Whoop. That was fun. Fun little trip there. These two are fighting each other. <laughs> hey, ow. It's like super mega adventure time out here. Ah! No, 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 no. You know what? You're getting the sharpness. Stupid spider. Aren't you glad I built armor? I don't even remember where I came from now. Over here? I think it's over here. Now I gotta get up here and do some eating. Yeah, go ahead. Oh dear. How could I find this many mobs and no iron? There's some iron. Some of it was even mined by that creeper for us, and there's some more. Let's spread a little more light. So we're less likely to get into trouble. Okay. I think we're doing good here now. Let's uh, put a little up here. Since I see some more iron up there anyway, that's a good spot put some I make sure I don't forget it for later I think an iron sword is gonna be the next thing we make out of iron because oh, we've earned it killing all those mobs with the stone sword and a gold sharpness three granted what is going on down here more iron and more zombies <laughs> I did already put some light up here, but not enough. Hmm. We'll probably leave well enough alone with this area for now. I don't think that anything will pursue from past that at the moment. But let's get all the iron that we can see in the area that we have conquered with light so that we can improve our situation. Oh, this is not completely conquered with light yet, is it? Okay, 
they stick and move. Okay, one's enough for that. This is a medium one. Are there any other big ones? Where did that come from? Over here? Would that be good enough? I think it will be. This is cute. Look at these guys. <laughs> Alright, I think we've got enough food saturation on us to gather this iron and then get back to the base. The underground base. Where there's a little bit more food, but our food situation from killing some animals on the first day has rapidly depleted and we're now on the cusp again. We need to start growing some crops, I think. Go upside and plant some seeds and get some wheat going that will be good for a cow farm but also just for bread for us uh here's some more i don't want to do too much iron before i can get enchanting going and get some fortune going on that helps with the iron a lot the iron is pre enchanting has been nerfed i feel in the caves and cliffs uh snapshots Alrighty, we are starting to get a little bit hungry. We're out of food in our inventory. We've got some more at the base. It's time to stop pushing our luck and head back. Uh, I'm excited to see how much iron we ended up with. We'll find out right now. 36. Not bad. We can cook 32 of those with four of those. That will be full iron armor. We can replace uh, this chest plate when it wears out. And wait a minute. <gasps> a potato. Oh, we got a potato from killing one of those zombies. That is mind-blowingly good news. You don't even understand how OP potatoes are in this game. Trust me. Uh, so we will put that to good use. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit of food. So before uh, pillaring up here, we could push it. Um explore more cave that way or dig further this way see if we find a cave or not um, I'm gonna let that iron cook and uh, maybe we'll make some stuff on camera with that in a moment Ooh, a little more iron don't mind if I do one, two, ooh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Even more. This is a big vein. I have heard why 32 is a great spot to look for iron in the 117 snapshots experimental here on Bedrock. And I'm heartened and hearkened to find some. But now we're out of pickaxe. So I think maybe it's time for an iron pickaxe. Uh, let's see, 16, so two more. Ooh, you hear that zombie? I hear him. Let's make an iron pickaxe. And an iron helmet. Uh, we don't have enough sticks for a pickaxe. There we go, an iron tool. How great is that? Uh, we'll keep the gold chest plate for now. Oh, let's make an iron sword, too. And as soon as we use up the storm stone one, we'll upgrade. Ooh, I'm feeling so good. It's a shame we're low on food. Uh, but I suppose now is a good time to head topside with our stuff. We don't want You don't want to do too much mining uh, all in the same stretch. Ooh, isn't that just nice and fast? Mining. Mining stone with the iron pick. Feels very superior to me. Let's stop here at negative 600. Is that deep slate? What is that? Smooth basalt. Interesting. What's that? <gasps> Calcite? Ooh, pretty.
Very nice and musical, and a nice little enclosed place, too. This will be our first, um... Lapis Lazuli of the world. Eleven from two ore. We'll want to harvest that with fortune later, too. We have got to get going on a potato farm ASAP. Uh, so we have... That purple stuff there, which is great. We have more unexplored cave that way, which is great. And we have not yet gone this way. So let's do a little bit of that. <gasps> a skeleton. And probably more. Let's get out our iron sword. This looks like a dangerous cave. Let's put some light over here to the left. It's a spot where like a creeper could just come out of nowhere. Oh, we're on the other side of this thing. Oh, that's some creepers. Is this too high for them to climb? It's not too high for a skeleton to shoot, that's for sure. Okay, so some good potential there, but we'll wait just a little bit on doing more of that. All right, we've hit a waterfall E dead end here, just not far past this uh, cave that we discovered. So uh, definitely time to stop tempting fate to grab our iron and uh, to head topside. Do we have, let's see, we're down at 32 and we gotta go up to like 100. 112 maybe? So call that 80. 80 ladders would require 560 sticks. And you get what, four sticks per two planks? So I don't think we have enough. But maybe we could get most of the way. I don't know if we're going to have to, though. And we'll do our best. We'll lay down gravel, and then we'll go ladders the rest of the way. Ooh, 42 ladders. That might not be enough even with the gravel. Let's see. That's a lot of iron. Um, oh, that's 90. That should get us a fair ways. Okay, what do we want to keep? The bones, the that, the bow, uh, the coal, most of it. Dirt? Nah. The potato, yes. The cobblestone, sure. Uh, oh, and it looks like someone dropped an iron shovel. Amethyst block, incredible. Slime balls, we could theoretically make leads with those in the string. And I suppose the gunpowder is nice to have. We'll leave a little bit of coal down here. Since we're leaving that down here as well. All right, back up to the surface we go. Okay, I think here at 70 we can start doing this. I think. Best way to place ladders in bedrock is to stand on top of them and then jump in place. I'm just holding B and ZL right now. Ooh, it's going to be nighttime when we get up here, I think. And there might even be phantoms out. Oh no, it wasn't enough. Can I place gravel here? Wow. Okay, let's go to sleep. Where's the bed? Huh. All right, now that we're up here, we can build the rest of our floor. Um, and we ought to be able to uh, do some other things too. We're gonna, let's see, we don't want to build it here yet. This is a very dangerous fall. 
So let's do that. And then later we'll put a bucket of water down there. We can make a bucket. Um, and we know there's water down there. Okay, so wow, look at how the snow has collected on the furnace. All right, we need more spruce for more ladders. Let's go ahead and plant another spruce. Uh, we need the saplings for that. And we need another chest, I think, as well. Because we're very quickly running out of room. One, here, 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 and here. Good. I like the way the snow covers stuff that it used to not. Oh, yeah, and the potato. we got to get the potato going. Um, okay. Extra chest. We'll put the extra chest. I wonder if chests never get covered in snow. Kind of seems like they can't. I do not mind putting the extra iron there. Um, okay. One, two, three. We could make an axe and a shovel. We just don't need them yet. Or a hoe, especially. We are going to want a chest plate soon. In fact, maybe right away. Maybe we'll put this gold one away. Okay. Three bucket. I forgot to take the other eight out, didn't I? Take this one off. Put it away. The thorns, unfortunately, wears it out extra fast. Okay, full iron. And a bucket. We're going to have to go get some water. We're also going to have to go down and get some lava. But first, let's finish this floor. Or at least floor 1.0. These stinking poppies. No sense in wasting a log there. Uh, same with here. There. I feel a little better with the floor in place. What do you guys think? Hmm? It's coming along. Uh, water. Is there anything in here? No. You put this back? Yes. Let's put the potato back, too. Um, hmm. Okay, we gotta get water. Oh, we gotta make ladders. That's right. Okay, how many ladders was I... Let's see, 10 on the top and like 40 on the bottom. So I think I want... Let's see what a stack makes us. We have zero ladders right now. And we have four sticks. So we make all those sticks. And then we make all these ladders. And now we're down to six. So a stack of planks makes you 54 ladders and two sticks. That's good to know. Ooh, we're on the ladder. Okay. Let's add to this. Um, and yeah, I suppose we'll put one here. And we'll put trap doors on this. And we'll be able to fall down the other one. We'll put some water there. Ooh. I don't know if I'm climbing and placing or what's going on here, but I like this. Wait a minute. I counted. I had enough. One, two. That's all we're... Oh. Bummer. Well, I don't like that, being able to place them faster than you actually want to. Pro tip, eat food on a ladder. Eat food on a ladder. It doesn't slow you down. Uh, okay. There. Now we're all laddered up. We have nine to spare. Uh, we gotta get some water from down here. We could also get some lava for cooking stuff. Couldn't we? 
It actually has to start cooking something, doesn't it? Well, we can cook six iron. It'll be a good experiment. Let's see what happens. Does that just burn out or not? Okay, where are we going to get the water from? Probably our second cave. Although we didn't grab any food. That's okay. We're not supposed to be down here long. We're just supposed to get some water. Uh, oh yeah, this was this way. Uh, so we want the short path here. Yeah, where the water is. It's crazy that this ends up being the cave that we broke into way down there. And it just sort of circles around. But this would be a great place to get some water. Not sure where the source blocks are, but we'll find them. Well, there's got to be some here. There, got one. In fact, I think I'll run up and place this one and then come back down for another one so I can have an infinite source. It'll take a while, but hmm. Do we want to be able to fall into here? It's not the worst idea in the world. Especially if we put some blocks, uh, probably not cobblestone. We can use this. That should work just fine. I think I can fall into that safely. Alrighty, we got both of our source blocks of water right here. Blocks, source blocks. And that is now a infinite water source, which is wonderful. Okay, where are we gonna put our potato farm? Because we have a potato. We got some stuff going on. We're gonna have to build more house. We're gonna have to build more chests. We got some stuff going on, but we do have a potato right here. And look, look, these are so tempting. Oh, I got them. Okay, I didn't want to sink. Uh, but the house, the house has got to get bigger. But the potato farm is important. Maybe we put the potato farm up here. It's got to be. There's got to be enough room. I don't know, man. I don't know where it's going to go. Do we put it back behind the house for the time being? No, I don't think we do. I think we stick it somewhere where it's going to work. Maybe up against these spruce would be nice. You know? Uh, so we can... We can sort of dig away here. get some extra dirt blocks and to sort of shape the side of this hill and then we'll use these to fill in the area down there and we'll end up with a suitable potato farm so let me get to work on that well we just broke the shovel we do have an iron shovel however this was a zombie drop and uh, it's a little bit low so let's grab one stray piece of iron and uh, build another shovel an iron shovel so that we can uh, combine this one with that one when we get to the point where we need it. All right, we're armed with our brand new iron shovel and we're gonna peel away some more layers of this hillside uh, to make it itself more interesting and also to get the dirt blocks that we need to make the potato farm that I keep talking about. Whew, I tell ya, never before have I done this much uh, terraforming with unenchanted tools, uh, but sometimes in a world, in a world, uh, you want to do things just a little bit out of order, a little bit uh, suboptimally, just to, you know, sort of change the way the, the curve works. This might be enough for a beginning potato farm if I just add a little bit of dirt 
to these layers over here, but the sun is going down, which means it's time to pop over to our reliable bed uh, to go to sleep. I wonder at what point we're going to move this indoors. That is a good question that needs answering, but first I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Oh, you know what the best coffee creamer is? Eggnog. Alrighty, are we ready to put it right here? Do we have enough of dirt to build this up enough? Let's see, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need a nine by nine. So we're close. This is just a little bit below the level of the house. I feel like we could put it here. Uh, or we could dig one more layer away. Let's, um... This needs some evening out. Which we can worry about later. Let's... Let's put it here. Alright, so, um, hmm. We're gonna want it to be not too far away. Can we put it here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is our nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This may not take too much. Although we do uh, want there to be light on the outsides. Okay, so if this is one, two, three, four here, that may work. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, ooh, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right. So I thought it would be. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we do need to add another row here. Which is no problem. We can do that. It's Minecraft, after all. It's fun. Why not have some fun? Uh, I suppose we could fence this in and then put up our lights. We'll see, but let's get it all hoed out. Then we can plant our first potato. And we're going to grow our entire potato empire from one potato. Since we didn't find potatoes in a village, we found them from a zombie drop. And I'm not even sure when it happened. Bonus points to anyone who can timestamp a potato drop from a zombie. Uh, that'd be amazing. Well, you can't hoe land that has a flower on it. Of course, that's interesting. Um, okay, let's plant a potato. I suppose we'll plant it right... here. And we're also going to want some light for this farm. We'll start very basic in the beginning, just light on the ground, although that one will have to be elevated. And we'll go ahead and we'll put it at the... Uh, straight away points as well. And then we'll put one in the middle with the fence post. That's a good idea. Probably a dark oak fence post. And where are the dark oak trees? I know that Ted and I found them in that other series. I'm gonna have to get that figured out and find them. Well, we got a lot of dirt now. Let's refill our water bucket from the infinite water source uh, and let's use a little bit of extra dirt to make sure that our house doesn't look weird we can have steps or slabs leading up to that if we want but I feel that that looks a bit better all right fence post goes in here light goes here and uh, let's plant some grass, too, so we can get some wheat going, and with wheat we can lure uh, cows. Cows are going to be the most important thing to lure. Hello, bunnies. And then, of course, we're going to need to make sure that we have um, dark oak going so that we can build up our house. Plenty of, plenty of spruce, but we're going to need dark oak. Let's plant this 
Oh, I don't know. How about here? Let's do it with five, actually. Probably do it like this. There we go. What a humble little farm. It's something, though. It's a beginning. Ah, uh, yes. I just chopped down a tree, made myself an iron axe. It's so nice to have iron. I don't think I'll go back to stone. And I'm realizing one of the things that we were... <laughs> that was climbing our to-do list was uh, food. As you can see, we are quite hungry right now, and we have no food to our name whatsoever. Can't even run. So I think the time has come for us to find some animals. And we're going to have to walk. So let's just see how this goes. I've gotten so used to taking, like, food for granted. Ah, here we have some cows. These would be great to lure to a farm, but... We simply don't have the wheat yet. Although we do have bones! We could bone meal to get to some wheat, so maybe that would be smart. We'll eat some chicken. Where'd that other chicken go? Or duck, excuse me, I believe they're ducks. Here, look, there's another duck. You know, you pay good money in a fancy restaurant to eat duck. Come here, duck. I want a sheep. I could eat sheep. Actually, these are lamb. Lamb of God. All right, now it's time for the long walk back while the sun is setting, while I'm hungry, uh, to cook up this food and eat it. I'll sleep, I'll cook up the food and eat it, I'll, uh, I'll bone meal some, a little baby pig, I'll bone meal some of the seeds to turn them into wheat, and then I'll lure the cows home. We'll figure out where the permanent location of the cows is going to be in the future. I'm thinking actually maybe, instead of putting them down, I'd like to put them in like a cliffside, hillside little pen beneath the snow there. Uh, beneath the snowy area where the potatoes are. That might be fun. Ooh, I'm down to one hunger pop. Can I go to sleep when I'm this hungry? Half a hunger pop. We are on hard difficulty. We could start taking damage soon. I was almost half expecting to see some sort of message about you cannot eat. You are too, you're too hungry to sleep. Uh, okay, let's put uh, this in. And that in and we'll get this ready and we'll move this out of the way and then uh, we will do a hot swap between these two meats and then I'll find some uh, bones for the sake of bone mealing things no bones in there 14 bones in there I'm not gonna do anything with bones other than make bone meal so let's go ahead and eat this We'll see if we can't make some wheat, and we'll see if those cows are still there. Wheat. 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 Thank you. And a seed. How nice. Um, which we can plant right here. And then... Uh, the rest of the meat. Since I'm almost already not able to run anymore. I will bring the cows back. Um, I want to put the cows in the hillside. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I don't even know if the cows are still going to be there. Excuse me, bees. All right, you cows. I'm counting on you. Ooh. No cows. They disappeared. All right. Well, let's uh, let's look for food, especially cows. We do have enough bone meal that we can uh, survive. I think, based on our tiny little farm. I can't believe I waited so long to get food. I just killed all the animals I saw in the beginning of the game, 
and had enough of a little stock that I just sort of forgot about it. And uh, there's a cow. Do you have any cow friends? Around here? No, I have to bring... Oh, there's two. Okay, I was going to say, if I have to bring one cow back... There's three! My goodness, it's like you guys are multiplying without me uh, when I'm not looking. Maybe we can get the sheep, too. All right, cows, don't fall behind and don't be afraid. We still got all three sheep. Thank you. Just for the sake of having as much wool as I want. One sheep will do to start. What a pretty home we have. I'm going to have to build up a nice uh, a nice path that doesn't require any jumping. Perhaps. I don't know. As soon as I do, then I'll stop ever using that route to go to and from the home. I'll probably just have, like, tunnels and portals everywhere. That's the thing, is building a path for the just for the sake of building a path is fun. But building a path, to me, feels worthwhile if I'm going to use it. So we'll see. Maybe I should be spreading these things out, these farms. But then they won't activate and simulate. That's the problem with that. This should be a pond, I think. Alright, come on, guys. For now, I think we'll just stash these guys near the potatoes. Uh, can you guys come up this way? Is that a possibility? Good. Okay. We're gonna go here. Hi, cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a minute. Alright, three cows and one sheep. Sounds about right to me. Alright, so on moving day, we can actually just sort of, uh... dig a path from this pit to their eventual cave. We can build it without them. And then we can move it. Move them to it. And then we'll see how that goes. Okay, I need to have you not in my inventory anymore. Oh, where's the dirt? Right here. Don't do it, cow. Sorry, I didn't want to have to hurt you. Is potatoes done? We're on our way, guys. We're at one potato. Now we're at one potato. <laughs> Sometimes you only get one. Let's try a little bone meal magic. Still just one. Is that... Was that not fully grown? That's fully grown. That's the problem here. Now we have four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that one's done. All right, now we have eight. We're on our way. We'll save the rest of our bone meal. We are out of food, though. Uh, five birch fence. Maybe five birch fence would be enough. Do we want to stick the cows? Here. I'm thinking maybe. Uh, here's the metal. One, two, three, four, five. So they'll go behind here. Yeah. 
I'm liking this idea. We'll feel highly sensible once they're in here and safe. They won't get much direct sunlight, but in the beginning, I think that will be okay. They'll be warm, and that matters. That's snow. Can't have that. What's going on here? Somewhere I almost died once, probably. All right, come on, guys. The time has come for you to find your way up here. Come on, sheep. Come on, cow two. Come on, cow three. No, you don't. Nice try, cow. Okay, so the cow pit is already obsolete down here because they're in here and they're nice and cozy and warm and safe, probably. Uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll give them a better wall eventually. Better place to stay, but I kind of like the idea of them being cozy. We'll round it out later. Right, dark oak. We need to find dark oak before too long. I'd like to find it before too much time goes by. Let's change where our bed is. This isn't really much of a home yet, but I feel it's enough to move the bed into. For now, so that's what we're going to do. All right, I reviewed the footage and I found where the dark oak is. It's at negative 200, negative 30. So we've got... A little ways to go before we can get there but uh, I sacrificed a couple of our four cows and so now we have one baby and one adult and uh, I'm now got uh, four food and we're gonna take that food and our trusty iron sword and we're gonna go to those coordinates and uh, cut down some dark oak trees and hopefully kill some uh, meat along the way procure some food and um, We'll get back here and we can continue work on the house. And while we're doing that, our uh, plants will continue to grow and our uh, food source will continue to multiply. So uh, I'm going to travel over there and uh, we'll see what we can find. All right, I see it, guys. I see this dark forest up ahead. This is where we're going. It's where we're going to get ourselves some dark oak. We may as well grab the exposed coal while we're here, too. And we may as well go ahead and cook up some of the food that we've acquired along the way as well. All right, we need some wood to make a crafting table to make a furnace. So we're going in. Excuse me, hopefully I edited that sneeze out. Ah, that's a relief. We got food cooking, we're sleeping. And there's dark oak. Dark oak within striking distance. Let's go get some of that. I do see a skelly man. Ow. Hey. Thanks for the helmet. Any creepies? There's a duck. And do you see a skeleton? That spider can, uh, we can just leave him alone. Uh, what do we got here? Respiration too. Hey, this is what I get for leaving a spider alone. All right, let's get to the top of this. It's 
a little bit tall. That's okay. We ought to be able to do it. And then we'll get some uh, leaves and we'll get some saplings. And we can start farming at home. Although we are going to need to set up some sort of farm. Ow! Stupid. I was going to use the tree to climb up, but I guess we'll uh, use dirt. Get out of here, you duck. I see some wood over here. Okay, uh, this looks like a good spot. So we want dark oak leaves, like these. And we want to know how many saplings we end up with. There's a couple real quick right there. Usually these are hard to get. The drop rates are poor for dark oak leaves into uh, dark oak saplings. Which makes it a harder tree to farm. But it's going to be so worth it when we build our house just the way we like it. Alright, I think nine saplings is enough, but we may as well take some spare dark oak on our way down. And with this, we can go back to our base and um, really plan out uh, the footprint of our house, and that should be a fun time. Ow! Enchanted bow, eh? These skeletons like these mushrooms. Let's see what we got. Unbreaking two power two. Not bad for a bow. Yeah, I hear you, duck. <laughs> Let's grab our spare uh, blocks here. And we'll get out. Do we have enough room for all this? It seems as though we do. Huh. Pretty full. All right, I'll meet you guys back at home. Ooh, and as the sun is setting, we're approaching our home valley here. Very exciting to have some dark oak in our inventory and uh, to be able to really get going in earnest here on the home base. There we go. There it is. We're actually going to go inside to sleep too since we moved the bed recently. Let's do this. All right, so step number one is going to be to plant these dark oaks. We've got plenty of spruce for now, so I'm thinking what we do is we go ahead and plant a dark oak here, where this one was. And then let's go ahead and do one up here as well. All right, then the next step is going to be, well, we gotta put some stuff away. Then we gotta replace the spruce with dark oak. And then we can build out the rest of the floor plan. Uh, do we need more chests? Um, we can put it on the cobblestone floor inside for now. And we've got a lot more room to put things away. That's a good thing. We're starting to get a little bit cluttered. Let's also do ourselves a favor and get um, the glass going here so we can put some windows in before too long. There we go. Wonderful. All right. Uh, where's our dark? oak. And where's our food? All right. Step one, replace all existing spruce logs with dark oak logs. Go. I'm telling you, these look so much better. I love them. Spruce looks fine, but the combination of spruce and dark oak is a uh, chef's kiss, as the kids might say. All right, spruce is replaced with dark oak. That is looking better. Let's uh, do the rest of the floor plan here. All righty, now the way this is gonna work is we're gonna, oh, uh, oh, here. Is we're gonna have, um, this is going to come out, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to here and then it will bend this way. So we're going to need one of these here, uh, one here, one here, and one here. And then this is going to go out nine. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then here, 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 and here. And then this will go up, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So, one, two, three there, and then three for a window, here, here, and here. And then three more here, here, and here. And then one. And then here. Here. And like this. So these will go here. Don't ask me how, I just know. I planned it out. We do definitely need stuff here. Alrighty, let's take a quick progress break here, real brief. Um, so here's the front of the house, there's the doorway, and here's the floor that we already had in. So now we have new walls that go this way, and then up this way, that's two different rooms there. And then uh, we need to repeat that on this side, and then what we're also going to have, could not quite make that jump, is uh, it's going to go back then further too, but not as wide as this or as this will be. Uh, and actually that will be the proper entrance to our mine. But as the sun is going down, I am reminded that I need to sleep and uh, I'll just make some more progress and uh, check in with you guys soon. Okie dokie. Alrighty, quick update. We are making some good progress here, and this is the shape of the house. It's very symmetrical. Uh, as you can see, we've got some stone to deal with up there in that corner of the house, uh, but it nestles in here nicely. Um, and I'm excited about this plan. I think it will look cozy on the inside when we are finished with it, so you guys can look forward to that. But for now, I gotta get back to work. All right, everyone, uh, I am back after a short break for me and an even shorter break for you. We got a little bit of work done off camera. I wanted to show that off uh, from the front. Uh, we are growing <clears throat> sugarcane here. The walls are done and the floor is done. Uh, I've been growing and chopping down dark oak. And I do have a ladder over here for, oh, I see a skeleton, for roof access. Uh, because we're going to need to put some sort of roof or ceiling on this. But here is what it looks like uh, on the inside. And I think it's coming along rather nicely. Um, I've got some ideas on things we can do. And one of them is uh, put in some windows. So let's uh, turn these glass blocks into glass panes. And we'll see if a stack will be enough uh, for the window. So I'll pop these in and then we'll take a look at them together. Alrighty, all the windows are in and it still doesn't feel very warm or cozy in here, but I've got some ideas on that. I'm actually, I'm thinking that um, in these two rooms off to the sides here, right? So here's our entrance and we got to put in doors. In one of these rooms, probably this one, uh, we'll put um, our enchanting setup and an experience farm right here and in this room uh will be our bedroom now we'll, we'll put down our bed in fact just so i don't forget let's go ahead and move the bed right now i've been sleeping in this sad little corner of the house this whole time and i am just about done with that so uh i suppose we'll put it here And that would make sense, okay? And then in these rooms, uh, we're gonna have storage, right? So chests here, we'll put a double chest here and a double chest here and then a single there. In fact, I could show you instead of just talking about it. Uh, and then back here will be our entrance to the mine. So we'll step down a couple of steps here and this will be a landing and we'll turn sideways and then go down a double wide stair there. Uh, and that will feel real nice. Here is our mine entrance. We could put a trap door uh, there so that this feels a little more official and safe. And look, the moon is coming up. Let's go to sleep in our new, uh, new bedroom. Let's see what the view is like. There are monsters nearby. 
That is a problem. Let's see if we can take care of that real quick. I think I saw that skeleton over here earlier. We can take care of him. He's right. Okay, he's right here. Let's do it from this side. It'll be safer. Uh. Hello. Come on in. Ow. Come on in. Can you? You're just going to wander away. I guess I'm going to have to lure him into striking distance. Ouch. He's putting up quite a fight. Okay, now he's dead. Uh, we got to replace our planks here. And um, <clears throat> hopefully that won't be a trouble troublesome area. We need to, may need to put some lighting up around that area on the outside of the house. I'm not sure. Oh, I forgot to look at what the view looked like. I suppose we're looking that way, huh? This is where sunrise is. Very nice. Um, okay, so let's do the, uh, let's get the experience machine going. So, oh man, I'm excited to move the storage because it's a lot of mess right now. Let's get the iron on here too. We need to make um, a, we need the furnace and we need two chests and two hoppers and we're holding four chests and some iron right now. So that'll work out great because a hopper of course has a chest in it. So one, two, and now we can make the whole experience machine. Now this wall is pretty thin, but I'm thinking we can do, we could do the furnace here. Uh, is that where I want it? Because once we place this, there's no... Do I want it set into the wall? We can put the... Yeah, I think we want it like this. Uh, but the chest itself will go here. Yeah, like that. And then let's get these hoppers out too. Uh, so... If anyone doesn't know, this is the uh, potato. The potatoes are OP in bedrock. Setup. We're going to put potatoes in the top here, and they're going to go through there and into this. And then these will come out of here and uh, when they're cooked and go down into here like this. Okay, so let's test that out and make sure that it's right. We've got one, two, three, and change stacks of the potatoes. Oh, I can't open that until I replace this with a slab. I mean, I can just as long as I get rid of it, but we will put a slab up there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so those are moving into here. I suppose they're moving into the into the hopper, right? Is there any reason? Oh, you know what, though? They're trying to go in as fuel. So that doesn't work. We actually need the hopper going into the top. Okay. Well, that's fine. I wasn't actually sure. You know what? And we may actually be able to build this wall out a little further. Um, okay, so do I want to set this into the wall, though, then? Maybe it will be set into the wall. Maybe I'll get rid of this glass. You know, it doesn't matter that much. I'm sitting here thinking about it, but it really doesn't matter that much. We can always just build around this. I, what I was thinking, though, is that if this were one layer further this way, so we're existing in this layer, that it wouldn't show up that much because we'd have a bunch of chests here anyway, but this room can't shrink anymore. This room could shrink a little, so if I really wanted to, I could put more um, planks here and then put the logs here, you know, and shrink this a little bit and get wood, rid of this glass and just have two pieces of wood and this log would be here. I think that that would be okay. Uh, but for now, let's do this. So those are moving through here and into here, which is 
fantastic. Let's put um some colon here. Let's see, 10 would do 80 potatoes, right? And we've got plenty more than that. We can put lava in here too. I want to hang on to coal since it's not super easy to come by. And then uh, as these potatoes cook, they should end up down here, right? So once this is full, this will fill up with five stacks. And once that's full, it will take 32 stacks, by the way, 27 in there and five in there. Then every potato that cooks in here will end up here without disappearing down into the hopper. And then when we take those out, we will get as much experience as 32 stacks of potatoes would give you. But we'll get it with every potato that we take out, which is amazing and will give us all the experience that we need to enchant over here once we get our bookcases all set up and ready to go. Speaking of bookcases, let's go and check on the farm. Um, this has been expanded to be two nine by nines. You can see the water in the middle there. That's the original one there. And the cow pen has actually been expanded just a little bit as well. And uh, it's now nine wide and nine deep. And something I actually want to do is, uh, oh, we've got every other with wheat and potatoes here, is I want to put some lava back there. Um, to keep this warm, to keep these guys warm. Uh, I need to do some harvesting. So that's where we're going to get our leather for our books for enchanting. That's how we're going to keep feeding the cows. And this is where we're going to get our potatoes for the uh, experience machine and all of that. Um, so I just wanted to show that to you guys before too much more time went by. I wanted to show you on camera. Let's take these spruce logs. Let's see, how many chests are we going to need for storage here? 5, 10, 15, 20, 40, 80. So that requires uh, 640 or 10 stacks of spruce. This will only make 8 stacks of spruce. Not even. It'll only make 4. Uh, but that's okay. So now we got a half stack of chests. So I'll just get this started so you guys can sort of see what's going on. This will be the pattern. And we can do that over here as well. And since this is the bedroom side, maybe we'll build this one up taller first. I do want to start with both sides. Uh, and with two left, I suppose we'll put those here and here. Okay, so now, and we have all these chests too. So I can I can ax these chests open and then uh, organize all this stuff. But we're not going to do that on camera. No siree, Bob. Okay, we got the sugar cane going too. I'm going to need a better sugar cane farm in order to have enough paper to make enough books to do all the enchanting that I want. But now is not the time. Now is the time to find our empty bucket, and there it is. And to head down into the mines. We're not going to drop all the way to the water, actually. But we're going to stop at uh, the lava level. I just saw it. It's not dripping, but maybe that's not the one I'm thinking of. Lava. Here you are. Here's my delicious lava. Do I have any blocks to use? Here's one. Boop. Um, now, I want to put the lava back by the cows, and adult cows can't get hurt by it, but it's possible that the kid cows could jump into it. So what we'll need to do at some point is to put something there, maybe slabs, but I was thinking it would be cool. Yeah, I'll probably just slabs. Let's get some uh, some few cobblestone slabs going here. How am I gonna need? How many am I gonna need? Maybe maybe more than six. Uh, and we'll get this lighting in here, and hopefully these cows will be able to stay warm. You know, they got daylight and sunshine over here. And then they can tuck back in under this roof where the heat of the, the cows will keep them warm. 
Um, suppose we'll put this here. It should flow all the way to there. Right? Will it? I can't actually tell. Oh boy, is that hard to see. There we go. Um... Looks like we're gonna need another bucket of lava. At the very least. So now we know. Um, but that's gonna make it warm and cozy back here for these guys. Ooh, and I'm tempted to even do this. Oh, that looks nice. And the, the, the little baby cows will be safe. Um, only have two left. So I'm gonna need two more on uh, another bucket of... Ooh, it's getting dark. Boy, they have got a really good view, don't they? You lucky cows. Got a nice view. Although you are crammed into your home... Uh, hole of a home, aren't you? Maybe I should give them all of this and I should go live in that hole. Uh, let's check out the view while we're sleeping again. I need a sip of coffee. Look, the moon is coming up. That's cool. I like facing east. It goes from the moonrise to the sunrise, like, immediately. That's really cool. I'm wondering if these walls... I'm glad I made them five tall, uh, but I'm wondering if they shouldn't be a little taller. But, you know, this is just me experimenting with the snapshot. And, by the way, uh, 118 comes out on November 30th. And today, as I'm recording this third part of this video, it's November 19th. So that is just a week and a half away, and I am quite excited for that. I think I'll be making a new uh, series. Um, let's put let's put some spruce doors on this place. I saw spruce planks in here somewhere. We need doors. Doors make a lot of sense, I think. And let's get them on the old hotbar. And uh, one other thing we need to do. There. That's better. What else do we need to do? Let's see, we talked about the barn, the farm, the lava. Um, been growing dark oaks. See, there's a couple right there. We're going to need a tree farm at some point. Um, and I don't know exactly where that's going to go. Maybe further down in the valley, right in front of the house there. I like this view really a lot right here. Although it would be nice if that were closed up back there and it were just dark. So it was like a dark cave. I think that would be cool. Our, um, our mine down to zero, zero is going to be that way. So maybe it's time to do a little bit of that work. Let's grab a bucket of water just in case something silly happens. That's opening the correct way, right? Yeah. In. Oh. Well, I'm not in love with that. We'll have to fix that at some point. Uh, our infinite water source should not be the only place we can farm this stuff. Okay, we got a little bit of wood on us. We got some cobblestone and some and a dirt let's go ahead and make that about a half stack of dirt uh and we've got these things which we can double up i'm not sure we need another sword just yet although we are awfully close but i do want to uh let's see where should these stairs start i'm thinking that we'll put all of our furnaces back here um and that there will be a fence here. Right along this path. So this could be double wide stairs. I'm just trying to decide. I guess if it starts two away from here, then it could start two past. I think this is the spot. I think we put stairs here. And then the next stairs go here. 
Uh, and then the floor will go here. Boy, does that take a long time. But it prevents snowballs from clogging up your inventory, doesn't it? Okay, stairs, stairs, landing. And then further down over there. Let's get our stairs, too, because I know we have a couple. And we'll just go ahead and check all four chests that we own so far. Wood stairs first. Nah. Okay, no stairs in there. No stairs in there. Two stairs in here. So we're going to have to make some. And in fact, we know we're going to have to make a lot. So let's just start with 20. Two. And then we can keep going. Um, this will be where we go to get diamonds. So I'm going to mine down deeper than our mine that's uh, over here. But it will be from here. Okay? You guys okay with that? Uh, this needs... Wait. Wait a minute. The landing goes here. Doesn't it? So, that means lousy snowballs. That means this is just a little bit deeper than I thought. Yeah, run 60 right here. And then it turns. Okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, let me get some work done on this. And, uh, well, am I really going to do that? on camera in this episode right now? I kind of think not. What else did we need to do or talk about? I don't know how, well, I mean, we could put a painting on the wall over here. We're gonna need to, we do have a second sheep in there, so we can, we're gonna need to separate them out at some point. I'm just wondering if, uh, I mean, we haven't gotten any, oh yeah, this thing. Okay, I wanna make a, uh, little fountain here. I guess we'll use cobblestone for that. I think that makes sense. That will be our actual um, infinite water source, I think. So it's gonna it's gonna come out of here. Uh... I could do it like this, I suppose. Yeah, how nice is that? Okay, sorry, sugar cane. That looks good. Can we do it here as well? Without any spill. Yep. Yeah, we sure can, okay. And then even if this is full, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, there we go. <laughs> nice. I like that. Okay, so there's our infinite water source. This can just be a dedicated farm now, as small as it is, and we'll get our water from here. So that should work great. Uh, now we also have gotten rid of that water, which means we can go get lava and uh, finish making the cows cozy. Uh, let's drop this off. All these dumb snowballs. Won't even fit. What am I going to do with all these snowballs? Start a snowball museum. Oh, look, we have more potatoes. Uh, we're also going to be need to running... Uh, we're going to need to be running down for buckets of lava to keep this going, I think. That's not even quite full. Ooh, and here we're almost out. Okay, so the next bucket, I think, will be for that, and then the bucket after that will be for the cows. Alrighty, scooping up the lava. Placing it with cobblestone. And back up the ladder we go. 
Alrighty, this furnace is turned off. The lava bucket goes in. And then the bucket disappears. The lava becomes uh, this flame right here. The bucket actually goes down into here. And then down into here. So you can get the bucket back, which is nice. And that lava will cook 100 potatoes. Which is very nice. So fuel is not much of a problem for us right now. It seems that potatoes are more of a problem for us right now. So let's grab another lava source block, replace it with the cobblestone, and once again, back up the ladder we go. Whew, nice close up. Uh, before we go put the lava next to the cows to keep them warm, let's make a couple of trap doors. So we could stick one right here. Perfect. We can even close that on our way down if we wanted to. Whoops. Let's give that a test. Nice. And that's easy enough to get back up. And then, boom. Nice and safe. Okay. Uh, the other one we don't need. But you know what we could do is make a couple of uh, pressure plates. Spruce pe pressure plates. And if we got good at redstone, we can actually make it. So that when you hit one, they both open. No matter what. Ooh, it's getting to be night. Let's uh let's turn the moonrise into a sunrise. You guys ready? Moon rising in the trees. That's a sun rising just above the trees. I'ma take a sip of coffee while I think of the next ride. It should be obvious because of the bees. Ooh, and look at our fountain. Ooh, this is looking nice. It's kind of a shame that this is such a temporary world, being that it's a, wait a minute. Did you guys see that? Is that like weirdly see-through for a second there? Huh. Um, Cause it's a snapshot and 118 is coming soon. But I just wanted to try building in the mountains, building the kind of house that I like to build. I like to think Oh, you know what? We were going to make some slabs. For crying out loud. I forgot to make some cobblestone slabs. I remembered the pressure plates and the trap doors. Uh, but we're going to need cobblestone. Which I'm sure there's some in here. We already had some. And we just need two slabs. But now we've got six. Certainly more than enough. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to try building out that kind of house I like to build. The kind of house I like to build is pretty simple, uh, but it has depth due to the like the pillars and stuff. Okay, there's a slab there. Excuse me, cow butt. Why am I trying to use an axe to break that? Okay, let's place this here, and then this here. And there we have it. Ooh, nice and warm for the cows. Okay, so we do have two sheep in here, I believe. Although I only see one. I thought we had two. At any rate, I gotta separate out the sheep and the cows. But the way I like to build a house, and I'll try and stroll up to this house so we can see it. It's a rel relatively simple house. I like the spruce planks for walls and the dark oak for pillars and I like the little bit of depth just one block of depth plus the half block into the windows but I think that looks sharp and you've got to have it on the inside too and the way I've figured out the best way to do corners is to have uh, pillars on all four sides right so the regular planks just take a 90 degree corner and then I put a pillar here a pillar here there is one there see uh, a pillar here, there's one there, see, and a pillar here. Uh, that seems to be the best way to do it. And I'd like these floors to be like, I don't know, dark stone bricks or something. But something to divide the rooms to. This could be like wood and this could stay stone. So it feels cozier in the side rooms, but a, like a stone great hall. I don't know, something like that. Or maybe we have it wood in the middle and stone off to the sides. Or like a special kind of wood in here where the bedroom is. I just wanted to build among the mountains, though. I like the way the snow stone 
looks. I like that snow accumulates, although we need to put a ceiling on this and probably a roof. I like the view out the window. I like just having steep ice mountains, which is new, I think, on one side, and snow-capped spruce uh, on another side. Mount Playful mountain goats and some coal in the wall there. These are just nice, they're nice views. Uh, although what I'd like to do when 118 comes out is to make sure that we're building in a snowy spruce where the actual leaves of the tree are white instead of dark green. I think that would be really cool. But if I'm going to continue this world, I'm going to need to dig down here to get to diamonds uh, way deep because this only goes down to um, Y equals 32 for the sake of uh, finding iron. Right? Is 32 the limit? Let's find out. Yeah, well, it's 31. Why didn't I hear a splash? Um, and I have been digging around down here, too, but nothing major. Where is the... Uh, it must be this way. This goes all the way to x equals 0, and then it takes a left, I believe, and goes nearly to z equals 0. So those would be the next steps in this world, would be uh, the potato farm for experience farm and uh, cows for leather and and sugarcane for paper so we can make uh, books and not only have level 30 enchants but also uh, lots of books to enchant so that using an anvil we could combine things uh, and get all the kind of gear that we want. I just don't think this world is uh, going to last that long. Frankly, I think it's going to be one video. A long video! I don't know how long the actual video is going to be, but I think there's probably seven hours of raw footage going into it. Yeah, I discovered this little place here and ended up cooking up some of the iron that I found. But this does go nearly to zero, zero, uh, which I'm rather proud of. I needed all that cobble to finish the floor of that house. I couldn't believe how much that took. It's definitely wise to use slabs instead of full blocks. So you could double how far your flooring goes. Uh, but yeah, if anyone does want to see more in this particular world, feel free, and you're all the way at the end of this video, feel free to let me know, and maybe I'll do that. Uh, maybe it'll end up on one of the other channels. I just don't know. Uh, it's up to you guys. And and it's up to me too, because if I, I only do the stuff I really want to do, if you know what I mean. So... That's the way it works. Oh, here's the end of the line. Okay, end of the line means end of the video. Uh, thanks for joining. Wow, look at this. What a cool little discovery right at the end there. Why is there a dead spider and a cobblestone? I must have been there. These torches are here too. I didn't know, though, that we would stumble upon this. That's kind of neat. Okay, thanks for joining me, and uh, I'll see you guys in the future in the basement.